What's up, everybody on YouTube? This is your boy, Fino Pat. Um, okay. Blue for Life is a good buddy of mine. He actually asked me a question in regards to my taste in horror movies and stuff like that. Well, also, if you haven't subscribed to Blue for Life, please subscribe to him. <coughs> and show your support to him. That's it down a little bit. Okay. Um, the first horror movie I ever saw, as you saw on my 22 movie question tag video, I first horror movie I ever saw was the original John Carpenter's Halloween. It freaked me out when I was young. It freaked me out a lot. Let's just put it at that. But growing up, I've learned to love horror movies and things of that nature. Um... Basically for me, it was like, I was eight when I saw the original Halloween. Then, afterwards, I, after, after that, I was kind of deterred away from horror movies for a bit. Then, I decided to, when I was like 14, come back and watch Hall Halloween again. I did that so I can a point that it was just a movie and stuff like that and I was really it was just me being an 8 year old kid and first seeing the horror movie seeing the horror movie for the first time and getting scared out of his wits yeah so that was the very first horror movie I've ever seen was the 1979 Halloween I guess Halloween did come out in 1979 John Carpenter and I'm watching back and seeing the see that movie again. It actually brings us back old memories. Very good movie. I love it to death. All time favorite horror movie is Halloween. But the original Friday the Thirteenth is also up there. Um. And also, Blue for Life also asked about me and what got me into the Screen Factory movies. Well, in regards to the Screen Factory movies, I've seen countless Bluetubers and Bluetubers and some people talking about them and stuff like that. And the first one I actually bought was Manhunter. That obviously it's not a horror movie, but it turned out to be I, was, I saw it. So there was two different discs, two different versions of it, and then I saw the saw the features, and everything of it. And then I just went back and watched the videos of some of the other Bluetubers with them. And, you know, giving their critique on them and everything of that nature. And then I decided to pick them up. So, yeah. I had to pick up m more and more Screen Factories until the current collection you see me have now. If you are following me on Instagram, you can see more. You can see all of them lined up together. Um, see my current Blu-ray collection on my new shelf, which I will show you right now. Yeah, so. Alright, I'm walking around my room. And right behind me now is my new shelf that's going to be holding my collection. So, yeah. So far, you see my collection and stuff like that. Possibly in, on this part of the wall, I'll probably put up a poster or something of that nature. And you grocery screen factories because I do have some actually I do have some posters from of screen factory a good buddy of mine actually sent them to me thank you very much three of them is actually represent three movies I do own within my screen factory collection <gasps> excuse me Bordello Blood um Bordello Blood Demon Knight and Army of Darkness which is one of my favorite that trilogy is one of my favorite Sam Raimi movie collection, but my favorite out of all three of them is the original Evil Dead. But as you can see, my collection down there, the last bit. But I did these space so I can put new movies in when I have a chance to get them. So yeah, thanks very much. Thank you very much for watching once again. It's your boy Phenom Pat, rocking the Batman shirt. He's the best superhero of all time. 
You know that. Don't you ever deny it. And he is the best one ever. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm playing. I'm playing. It's your boy Phenom Pat. Thank you again for watching. As always, I end my movies with this. Always and forever. Don't you dare. Do not go out to the world without these three things. Peace, love, and play. Gotta go. Yeah.